Halo Infinite Season 5 teaser trailer was just revealed, so I thought I'd go over all the details with you guys. If you like these informative videos, make sure to tap that like button. Let's get right into it. So with Season 5, we'll have cross-core helmets, Halo 4's extraction mode returning but also reimagined, Flood-inspired customization, two arena maps, Prism and Forbidden, AI added to Forge, you'll be able to earn Battle Pass XP in custom games, Max XP Hero Rank, Reward is the Halo Infinite Mark VI Armor Core, Firefight King of the Hill, and a free 20-tier Battle Pass. But if you want to know more, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So let's go over all the headlines in detail here. So of course we had the cross core helmets come in with Halo Infinite, which is something I was expecting to see come around with season five, some expansion of the cross core situations. And I figured helmets would probably be the next addition, which would probably be the right way to go about adding in more options as a helmet really is a major part when it comes to your character customization within Halo Infinite. And I'm super excited to see it come around. I really get a chance to actually utilize so much more of the fracture armor cores and then bring those over to say the more lore accurate cores as well to kind of create your own kind of spartan in a way because for me a lot of the fracture cores just kind of sit not really being utilized a whole lot since the customization is so limited with those cores and this will help out a lot when it comes to bringing in more unique looking spartans on the battlefield the long leaked out and rumored extraction mode has finally been officially revealed for us all and it's just going to be basically halo 4's extraction mode then put into the multiplayer of halo infinite we thought this was going to be like some kind of pve ver variation of the mode but it turns out it's just going to be straight up just extraction that it did say it's reimagined in some kind of way but it didn't really state exactly how i'm sure we'll learn more information about that as we get closer and closer to the release of season five but since this is a halo 4 specific mode i'm sure many of you have not played extraction basically think of like assault but instead of at different bases you take the extraction device to a specific location on the map you plant the device defend it until it detonates and then move on to the next location a really cool addition coming in is the flood inspired customization we saw this all over the armor sets within this trailer though i I noticed that all the armor sets that had the flood customization on it were the Mark 5B, the Halo Reach armor cores. So I didn't see anything when it came to other cores enjoying the flood inspired customization. We did see some UNSC weapons also gaining some of that flood love as well. And this flood customization looks amazing. It reminds me a lot of the Halo 2 anniversary flood characters that we had that we've only got a chance to utilize that one time for that. But now I actually get a chance to have different types of customization that you can choose for your character, but all flood inspired that is just awesome was not expecting that at all this could possibly tie into extraction to bring that back because with the early leaks of the mode extraction we did see these flood spore spawns locations and we heard these jeff Sticer voice lines talking about like new flood spawn location kind of coming in so there might be some kind of way they tie that in together again as soon as we get closer to season five i'll let you guys know here on the channel next you btp boys might not be super happy about this as we're getting two arena maps with this season the map prism which has been the long rumored crystal chaos map which is going to be a location where you find the covenant farming blamite which is the needler ammunition the cool thing is that you have these interactive blamite crystals that if you damage those they explode but then they also seek after players much like the needler does in the game this adds a really awesome interactive element to the map which i'm really excited to see how it actually plays out forbidden is the map i was really curious about because we've seen this leaked out previously as well they said either it was a small btb map an infantry only btb map or maybe Maybe an 8v8 map that's a dev made map which i thought all those choices would be very interesting to see if 343 could pull that out like an infantry only btb map but it turns out this is also going to be an arena map for 4v4 so i would expect this to be a much larger arena map than your typical size you expect within the playlists i do love the like worn down old ancient forerunner architecture with this map it looks amazing ai and forge is finally coming into the game i'm super excited about this because this opens up pandora's box when it comes to the amount of things forgers can create within this game. We have seen leaks and rumors that there's going to be a lot of customization options when it comes to custom games for Firefight. So why not be able to make custom Firefight maps within Forge? Talking about Firefight maps, we have Firefight King of the Hill coming in as well, which is going to be amazing. Something PvE related, some repeatable content is going to be very needed for Halo Infinite. And it does look to take place on the House of Reckoning map that we've seen leaked out and rumored that we've covered previously on the channel 
as well. If you guys don't remember what the House of Reckoning is, it's basically that area within the campaign that was like a test run environment that Ashram created for the Banish to take on the UNSC and all the human elements. Judging by the screenshot as well, it looks like it will be available on multiplayer maps and it's going to be a four player firefight. Also, is that Halo Combat Evolved armor set I'm seeing right there? And it does look like there will be different tiers of enemies within firefight as well. So that would be a great addition as we see a gold armor brute that's on the ground. So we do know there's going to be more difficult enemies. And we did see at the end of the trailer, there was like a chieftain that hops in as well. At first, I thought this was like Bassus or somebody, but it looks to be just like a regular high level chieftain. We did see that there are strings within the Halo Infinite API that does reference these various bosses. So maybe we could see boss battles being added in later on the firefight. Again, that's speculation and kind of connecting the dots on that one, but I'll keep you guys up to date if anything like that happens. I love the fact that you'll be able to earn battle pass XP through playing custom games. It's actually one of the big reasons why I don't play custom games within Halo Infinite, even though they are fantastic and there is the custom game browser. I just don't really play custom games because I want to make progress on my battle pass. If I spend a lot of times playing custom games, then I'm not making progression on the battle pass that I bought into. Interesting thing though, is that this season looks to have a 20 tier free battle pass, not a full 100 tiers, which to me is very interesting. Why is it that season five does not have a full 100 tiers? Is there a bottleneck that's happening when it comes to the content creation side of things for 343 for these battle passes? Is 343 going to tweak the match XP gains? And so then it will help drag out that battle pass a little bit more. And talking about XP gains, the max XP hero rank reward is the Halo Infinite Master Chief Armor Core. Now within this trailer, I did look into it. There didn't really seem to be any kind of customization options available for this core I think it'll be just kind of a special you get to play as a Halo Infinite Master Chief which to me is the best looking Master Chief ever created so I'm definitely excited about this this is a really great reward to get people excited to want to grind out to play Halo Infinite to get that max rank I'm definitely gonna have to do that now a couple things I wanted to point out for interesting screenshots one is definitely be this really cool looking bandit rifle I mean it just looks awesome I hope you can actually unlock this through the battle pass and I have to buy it in the store but it's understandable it's locked in the store. Now, after watching this trailer multiple times over, my ultimate speculation is that is Griffball coming in with season five? Because I think I saw it within this trailer, within the section where you show them running around on a Husky Raid map. But the interesting thing is, everyone on the map was also using a gravity hammer. Now, when I think of just long hallways, everyone using a gravity hammer, my thoughts instantly go to Griffball, though we didn't see any swords. But I would think that Husky Raid maps would actually translate rather well to Griffball, but it had to be very interesting to see how they play it out. Also, it looks like in this section that they added physics to the gravity hammer. You see on the section where our players would play on the Husky Raid map, he swings a hammer, gets a kill, and the guy goes flying away. That means actual physics were added in with this gravity hammer, which is amazing. Physics on the gravity hammer is incredibly important for the Griff Ball mode to actually function within Halo Infinite. And if that's the case, I'm all in. Let me know what you guys are most excited about when it comes to season five and the things that we covered within this video. Personally, I'm really excited about that flood customization. I think it looks amazing. Some of the new maps coming in look awesome as well. The weapon customization looks fantastic. Season five is going to be very interesting for Halo Infinite.